Well, it's it's time to look for some good anime, guys. Um, I didn't want to have to I didn't want to have to uh, watch a lot of anime on this channel, but I, I think it's time. I think it's time that I allow my true weeaboo and, and and we get to watch some nice shows together. You know, some nice Japanese cartoons. This anime looks pretty good. It's it's got uh two people, uh two girls, two uh, really cute looking girls, uh, a pink haired girl and a, a child and. Uh, they're holding hands, you know. They got the, they got the, like, uh, I don't, I don't know if that's like white. I don't fucking know. But they, they, this, this looks like a pretty good anime. This looks pretty fun to watch. <sighs> so cute. It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't like where this is going. It's your boy, Receding Hairline, and I welcome you to the third installment of New Post Every Three Months. Yeah, sorry for not posting for so long. I've been dealing with, like, school and work, and, uh, when I'm not fueling capitalism and training to become the future of the U.S. conglomerate, I'm, uh, sleeping or playing modded Scar. So I didn't want to turn this channel into nothing but commentaries, and I most definitely didn't want to have any more weeby content on here after the weeaboo rant, but, uh, I'm sorry. Today, we're gonna be talking about some anime! It's actually just gonna be one anime to be exact, and uh, this anime is called Pedophilia! No, not really, it's actually called Happy Sugar Life. But uh, nothing about this show is happy. Or, or lively. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. The show basically is about some pink haired anime bitch that looks like every other anime bitch ever. Who is different from this bitch in a sense where she has a very twisted view of love that leads her to allow any man to have their way with her because she wanted to know what true love would be like. The problem is she never did find the true love she seeked, that was until she met a little girl. That ain't right. I think it's worth mentioning that Cotton Candy over here thinks that purity in its like rawest form or some shit is proof of true love and the only reason why she thinks that way is because her like weird ass aunt would always compare love to like a jar of candy or some shit. Basically the more candy in the jar, the sweeter the relationship and sweet feelings equals a proper love that must be cherished. Pink bitch finds this little girl who, whose name is Shio, by the way, to be so innocent and sweet that she doesn't want to taint her and finds her innocence to be the main essence of what makes Shio the love of her life. This ideal of love, let's be real, I can only find this to be partially true. Not the kid part, that's, that's disgusting, but I mean like, the whole ideal of a relationship is like sugar. Now, now I ain't no, I ain't no expert because I'm out here being lonely and single as fuck. But I'm pretty sure a relationship with a child, number one, isn't very appropriate and will not allow you to find the true love you seek, and two, isn't going to last because Shio is just as mentally unstable as Pinky over here and will literally grow older to realize that not only is the relationship she's in really inappropriate and that her quote unquote lover is just an obsessed pedo and that Pinky has done some pretty fucked up shit in the name of love herself, like uh, murdering people in order to have the things that they need to survive and you know, blackmailing people who threaten her life with a little girl to the point of fucking insanity. It doesn't help that literally every other character in this anime as well has some sort of like issue. Like everyone has a fucking problem. Both the main characters, the main character's fucking boss, her co-workers, and like every other adult in this anime. <sighs> Even this fucking cute trap looking dude is a pedo. And here I thought he was just an innocent Japanese multinational automotive manufacturer. <laughs> the only person who doesn't have some sort of issue is this fucking girl here. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, she's a thought though. She, you know, back when, uh, back when, uh, fucking pink bitch was going around, uh, letting any man do whatever they want to her. Uh, she was kind of joining her in that endeavor because she wanted to find a man too. She's, 
At least she's not in love with kids. At least she doesn't have a thing for children. At least she's not manipulating people or doing some weird ass shit like that. All right, all right. She's she's a, she's clear with me. I don't care if she's a thought. I actually googled the main character, the pink haired Yuno ripoff, and uh, I found out that her name is actually Sato, which means sugar in Japanese. So this means two things. All right. It means one, this show can be dubbed as Happy Sato Life, which is it's cute. You get to name the anime after the main character. It's nice. And uh, two, that this bitch doesn't care enough about this little girl to have the show be named after her too happy sato life how about happy shio life huh huh you self-centered narcissistic bitch you probably don't even actually love shio do you you're probably just using her to cope with the fact that you have a lonely loveless life <laughs> Side note, I actually am only on episode three of this anime and I'd be surprised if that really was the basis of their relationship. Like the <laughs> like the only reason that Sato still keeps Shio around is that she is so that she can cope with a shitty life. Like a shitty, lonely, loveless life. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't finished this damn show, okay? I can only take this shit in small small doses, alright? Alright, and by small doses I mean one episode per day, because this is just some fucked ass shit. As recall, I am told that I am no longer in your service. That's right, Sharon. Have you come to say goodbye? Yes. No, but seriously, this show is everything that just is not right, okay? I don't know what's happening with anime nowadays, but we've gone from like edgy, low-key, softcore hentai anime with main characters that are like just too pussy to hit that to anime with like main characters that are literally godlike beings. <laughs> Back to anime that's just really edgy. Except when I say edgy, I mean really edgy. Like I saw this one anime called, I think it's like Maho Shoujo Site, which uh, roughly translates to edgy, depressed schoolgirl, the anime. Liter literally, this anime is nothing but a bunch of depressed emo schoolgirls that have to band together with magical powers against oppressive site admins that gave him these powers to begin with. And uh, let's be real, that sounds a lot like the plot of the emo teens Google Plus community. <laughs> I don't know if depression and edge has become some sort of trend nowadays, but uh, we live in a world that exists in anime, where instead of having a cute anime waifu that I can etch on my body pillows and fondle for hours on end, we have to deal with a pedo who kills and acts like an insane little bitch because she doesn't want anyone intruding on her fucked up little party here. Well, you know who you can't hide your shit from? The FBI. I'm calling them right now, you sick mother. Fucker. This party ends now. <laughs> These two girls' whole lives are just complete shit shows. So, in conclusion, this anime is fucked. <clears throat> I don't encourage you to watch it, but I know you will anyway, so. I'm going to leave the link to the anime down in the description. I'd say follow my Twitter, but uh, I haven't been using it lately, so I just leave that link down in the description should, should you choose to want to follow it. But uh, you'll probably get more attention off of my Instagram, which I'll also leave down in the description. Anywho, this was your boy signing out. I fucking hate anime. I will never watch another anime in 2018 in my life ever. Fuck it. <laughs>